Hey guys and girls, it's Mark, the Truth Seeker, and I'm in Soul 597, and Soul 560, if I'm correct. Um, I've done this picture before. It's an object that I call the machine. Uh, it's under this ridge. Um, and then I have another picture that's a, a soul, like one or two ahead, where the object is actually here. So it should be closer to the camera and it should be clear but what I'm gonna show you is because a lot of people say NASA would never manipulate their pictures I mean people rant and rave that NASA would never do that um, and I'm gonna show you otherwise because I mean this is just you know with no no editing no you know no Photoshop nothing this is just straight off the internet I mean you could pretty clearly see that this is just there's an object, you know, there's a spout, there's a frame, there's a piece coming out of the frame here that's leaving a shadow, there's a little ball down here with some type of arm, um, you know, it is what it is, and uh, I'm going to show you what NASA does. Okay, here's that picture a little closer, um, Basically, you know, you can see the frame. There's a piece sticking out here. Here's a spout. And there's a, looks like a little ball with some type of dial on it. All right. Now, let me show you the other picture. Okay, this is that picture in Photoshop. Um, the image we're talking about is here. All right. Okay. The image I'm showing you now is here. Um, in the next picture... It's going to be like one or two souls ahead, and the image is going to be over here. This this area is going to be over here, so it should be closer to the camera. All right, let's take a look one more time. Um, here I took the desaturate brush, and I desaturated it just so I can give you guys a little better idea of what we're talking about with when I call it a machine. There's a piece sticking out here. It's leaving a shadow. Um, see there's circles in here there's, it looks like a ball with a dial on the bottom looks like some type of piping with a nozzle here um, more framework uh, pretty intricate frame I mean you could see the way it's put together um, all right let me show you the next picture okay here's the next picture it's Sol 601 like I said, it's a couple souls ahead, and the area is here. So now we should be closer to the camera. So it should be a lot clearer what we're going to look at. So it should be many times clearer. Okay. All right. Look what NASA has done to this. They came in here and added white bunch of lines here's more where they just morphed it here's all these squiggly lines more of them they morphed more of it see what they do they come in and they put these weird filters over it now technically it should be clear what they've done to this whole area. Hey, look at these. Uh, my buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 uh, gave these a name. He calls them blinds. And you know what? I've taken to that because, you know, it makes sense. I mean, look at it. When they add these lines or blinds, it uh, just breaks everything up. I mean, you really just can't... You just can't make heads or tails. I mean, look at the corners on this thing. Look at these angles. I mean, it looks like it's got a wire or something coming out of it. I mean, but when they put this filter over it, it's just unbelievable. I mean, the more you, the more you try to sharpen it, the, um, 
the more you zoom in, the you know, there's it's the worse worse it gets. It's unbelievable. Um, then you come over to this little corner here. Look at this edge of this rock. Okay, if these, I mean, I don't even believe these are rocks. I believe this is. Look at this where they came in. This is all black. See where I'm tracing this? Look at this. I believe this whole wall is carved. It's either some type of wall or machinery. But look where they came in. See all these black boxes? This is not a rock. Or it is rocks with carvings. But look where they came in. See how they came up here and they just blurred all of this. And then look at these black boxes. Tracing the edge of them. All right. Look what came through here. Look at this piece. It's not blurred. Just one little block. And they came here and put the back the blocks back in. See, this is all blacked out. So, in here. What the hell is this stuff? I mean, this bullshit that NASA's pulling, I mean, it's just... What really aggravates me is that it's just so blatant. And as many emails as I send them, and, you know... It's just, it, there's just no response. They're not going to give us a response. Um, the other day I was talking with somebody uh, through email, sent me an email. And, uh, you know, he says he knows certain things and blah, blah, blah. You know, I get a lot of that. But he came up with a point that he says, listen, he goes, NASA and our government are on Mars with these rovers and they found some pretty surprising things and these are things that they're trying to figure out they just don't they're just mesmerized by what they found you know basically speechless NASA doesn't know how to explain some of this stuff you know that they're, they're still trying to figure out what this stuff means what do these artifacts mean um, that's why they haven't released it to the general public now could that be could that be that they fired up, you know, their first rover up there and saw these grave markers and maybe live animals, people, um, you know, aliens, ape-like people, and NASA is just speechless. They don't know what to do. They don't know if it's a threat. I mean, that could be. It could be, you know. Does it explain why they haven't, you know, released anything to the public and they're covering up and morphing all these pictures maybe I don't, you know you just you never know one thing I do know for sure is that something was or is alive on Mars um, the research that I've done and the videos I've put out I think I've proved it to people that I found some pretty compelling stuff and uh, when I see stuff like this and you know, they're blocking out huge areas and morphing things. This should actually be clearer. Um, the, in the first picture I showed you, this thing I call a machine is farther away. And then here, it's just morphed to hell. It doesn't even resemble the same area. But, uh, you know, when they come in and blur, like, put this fake sand here. I mean, look at this. This is sand. There. Take a look at this. This is sand, right? Look. Look at this little box. There. This is sand, right? See these boxes? These are not pixels. These are blur boxes. And they come in with all these weird lines and filters that they're putting over this stuff. I mean, some of this stuff looks like it's honeycomb. Uh, intricate stuff carved into it. I mean... It's just, you know what, maybe maybe NASA doesn't know what the hell they're looking at and they're trying to figure it out. I'm, like I said, I don't know. 
one thing I do know for sure is that something or someone or something is still alive on Mars and uh, you know that's just a fact if you search back through my videos you'll be uh, pretty amazed you know and I wish that you know guys like us that are doing this can get some of these big guys like Hoagland and uh, you know Greer and you know just some of these big shots to take a look at our videos and uh, you know give us a hand getting this stuff out there because they're the ones that have the access I mean people like us will do the work we'll get these videos out there but we need uh, some of these big shots to uh, to give us a little hand all right I'm working on a couple other things you know I'm just trying to get this stuff together and get it out but this and this and a picture that's three souls before and a lot farther away it's a lot clearer here even though it's farther away but you could see where they came in look at these boxes all manipulated and those are not pixels all right guys I need you to like subscribe share this stuff let's get it out there truth seekers out